In this video, we're going to build a simple Python program to check whether a number is prime or not, and also to list all the prime numbers within a range. So let's start with a little title, prime number numbers program, something like that. Okay, then let's list the options, options like that, and then we print the first option check if a number is prime and the second list prime numbers in range okay then print and then here we need to get the option so input then enter one or two something like that okay then let's see the first method to do that okay so first of all you need to check if the option is equal to one because if that is equal to one that means that we need to check if the number that the user enters is prime so first of all you need to get the number okay so int because we're going to convert the input to an integer then enter a number greater than one okay then we need to have a sort of flag prime set to true okay so we we start out considering all the numbers prime and then we change it if it's not prime then we need to loop through the numbers before the a number so we start from two and then up to number which means that if the number that you enter is 10 you go like two three four five six seven eight nine because the last number which is the stop value which is the number is not included so in this case it's 10 so we loop through them and then we use the modulo operator that returns the remainder of a division okay and if the number can be divided evenly by one number then the modulo operator will return zero okay and that means that the number is not prime because you could divide your number evenly by at least another number which is what makes a number not prime okay so let's do the operation so the modulo operation is that and zero is equal to zero then we set prime to false why because let's say that a number is 10 then you start two number 10 divided by two with the module operator the remainder is zero because you do two four six eight ten okay so you you can divide it evenly that means that the number is not prime so you set this flag to false that and then we are going to use that then we print something like this like an f string so write something like number is not prime okay something like that and then we break because when we find out that number is not prime it doesn't make sense to keep looping and looping until we get to the end okay then after this okay and after the loop you can do something like if prime we print an f string number is prime something like that so basically you keep dividing the number if the number can divide can be divided evenly by at least one number you set prime to false you print the number is not prime then you go down here prime is false so this is not printed but let's say that you've got seven okay seven is a prime number so you go through that you never this is never true so you never set this to false this is still true from up here then you exit the loop because you exhausted all the numbers inside of the range then you go down here prime is still true so you print number is prime okay let's actually try that and then let's see a better way of doing this okay so if we do something like python python prime numbers prime numbers check if the number is prime enter one let's say seven seven is prime one let's say eight eight is not prime so this is actually working okay but let's see a better way of doing this without using the flag like that so let's actually copy this and comment that out and go down here okay then we can leave that that this is not needed anymore okay then we look through the numbers as we've done here we don't set this to false we just look through them this is still the same and then here we use the for loops else statement okay that i actually explained in the video about for loops and basically if you go through all the elements in the range and you never break 
then else the code here is run. On the other hand, let's say that you've got eight, you, you start going through that, then you break out of the loop and then this is not run. Okay. And this actually works the, exactly the same. So if we try that, you see that this works the same is prime and then is not prime. So that works exactly the same as you can see. Perfect. By the way, as you could see, I, I didn't do any input validation here. So for example, here, enter a number greater than one, the user could enter a letter, a negative number, one, etc., etc. So we are not checking that. So if you want to implement that, you might want to check out my video on input validation and also the one on menus. Okay. After this one, so that you can make this program even better. Okay. So now that we're done with the first option, we need to create the second option. Okay. Which is when we want to find all the prime numbers in a range. So down here, we can do something like option two like that. Okay. Then we can print something like choose a range from X through Y, something like that. And then X value, we convert it to an integer input, and then we write something like enter X greater than one. Okay. And then Y value, same thing, integer input, and then enter Y, something like that. Okay. So we get the two values. Then we need to have an empty list, these prime numbers, okay? And then we do the same exact thing. So basically we look through number in range, okay? X value, Y value plus one, okay? Y plus one, because basically the stop value is not included. The X value, the the start value is included, the, the stop value is not included. So let's say that we want to find the, the prime numbers from two through 10, which means that we want to check if 10 is a prime number. So we need to write plus one. So the stop value is 11 and 11 is not included, but 10 is included. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So basically here we are looping through the range. Okay. One number at a time. And then here we do the same thing as we did above. So for n in range two number. Okay. If number is equal to zero, then we break. Okay. Then else down here, list prime number dot append, and we add the number to a list. Okay. So basically this is the same as using the, the first option, but instead of just checking one number, you check all the numbers in the range. So basically it's like you were using the first option, like for three, you check three, you check four, you check five, you check six, etc. But now you do this automatically with a for loop. And then at the end, you will have a list of prime numbers. Okay. Instead of knowing just if the number that you enter is actually prime. Okay. So this could be quite useful. And then now we need to show the result. Okay. But before we do that, let me know in the comment section down below, if you're enjoying the video, I would really love to hear from you. Okay, so let's print down here after all the four loops, you can print something like a line, then you can print F prime numbers from, and then you can use X value through Y value like that. And then you can do something like four prime in these prime numbers, something like that. So we go through the list of prime numbers that we actually made here. Okay. And we print F string like that, then prime, a comma, and then we need to use and an empty string. Otherwise we go down one line and we don't want that. Okay. And then we print a line like that. Okay. Perfect. Let's actually try that out and see if everything works. So. We already tried this, so we're going to check only this one. So two, two is a range, and to greater than, let's write two, then y10 as the example. As you can see, prime numbers from two through 10, two, three, five, seven. Really interesting. 
let's actually try a longer list, like from this to something like that. As you can see, you've got your list, 109, 113, 127, etc., etc. et cetera. So you've got all your prime numbers in a list, okay? So this program actually does two things. You can enter just one number and check if that specific number is prime, or you can also list the prime numbers in a range, okay, that you actually decide, okay, perfect. So now if you got to this point, you're definitely a serious learner. So I highly recommend you watch this other video about Python on the screen, and I'll see you there.